Hi friends, today I wanted to discuss about the second year PU biology question paper and this is a solved uh, question paper of the year March 2019. This is as per the prescribed syllabus of uh, Karnataka PU board and this is a PU board examination that was conducted by the uh, department of pre-university. So let us go to the question paper. Before that we will make an analysis of what are the uh, question paper pattern that we have. So there are there were four parts in the entire question paper. Part A you have to write the one mark questions uh, which can be of a single word or an entire sentence. One sentence or one word answers that you have to write. You have around 10 questions and each question carries one mark. So totally you have 10 marks. In this part A there are no choices. So you mandatorily you have to attend all the 10 questions. In part B you have uh, nearly 8 questions of which you have to answer any 5. So it is again going to be of uh, 10 marks that you can get in the part B. And here you are expected to write at least 4 sentences for each and every uh, question. So and if there is any differences try to write at least 4 differences uh, between the comparative questions that they have asked for. Part C, it is of 3 mark questions nature. You have to answer any 5 and you have nearly 8 questions. So you have choice. Out of 8, you have to answer any 5. And each uh, question carries 3 marks. So you have totally 15 marks. If you just attend part A, part B and part C, you will be scoring the uh, 35 marks. That is the passing marks of entire biology. Now part D, it is divided into 2 sections. Uh, both of them are 5 mark question sections. Section 1 has 4 questions out of 6. So you have 4 choices out of 6 questions. So each question carries 5 marks. So you can score from this section 1 20 marks. And section 2 it carries any 3 questions from out of 5. So you have to choose any 3 uh, questions out of the 5 questions that you have been asked. So it fetches you 15 marks. Again section just part D, answering part D itself, you can clear your uh, biology paper. That is, it is totally around 35 marks. The grand total of the entire uh, paper is of 70 marks and you have practicals which is of 30 marks each. Now let us proceed to the March 2017 question paper which also includes the answer scheme, questions with answer scheme. So the part A, the questions that they have asked in 2019 are, what are hermaphrodites? Hermaphrodites are bisexual animals or they are the organisms having both and female, male and female reproductive structures in one individual. Examples of them are, uh, you might have studied about the uh, earthworm, you might have studied about uh, the uh, platy helminthus. So uh, they exhibit this both the male and female reproductive structures in one individual. So any of this you have to write. If you you never get half a mark in one mark question, so you have to be completely right. Mention the asexual reproductive structure in sponges. The answer is gemio. What is euchromatin? It is loosely packed or coiled part of the uh, chromatin network and it gets stained very lightly. So and lightly stained region of chromatin. It is loosely packed and lightly stained and transcriptionally active region of chromatin. That would be more appropriate answer by, but uh, any of these two you can write it and you will be getting one mark. You might say, uh, find that uh, towards one of these sites you might find the uh, numbers. These are the page numbers where you find the answers for these. So why DNA replication is called semi-conservative type of replication? So the major reason being that after the completion of replication, each daughter DNA molecule will have 50% uh, of parental strand and 50% of newly synthesized strand. That is it will have one parental strand and one newly synthesized strand uh, because of which the DNA replication is also called a semi-conservative mode of replication. So uh, you can also answer it the other way that is each strand of parental DNA acts as a template during replication and hence the newly synthesized DNA has one parental strand and 
and one newly synthesized strand. The next question that they have asked, fifth question is, name the microbe used in the production of citric acid, Aspergillus niger or A. niger uh, is the microbe that is used in the production of citric acid. What is microinjection? It is the method of introduction of rDNA or recombinant DNA directly into the nucleus of animal cell that is the host cell. Define mortality. Mortality is defined as the number of deaths in the population uh, during a given period of time. Give an example for gaseous cycle. So you can write any one example like carbon cycle or nitrogen cycle. Define endemism. Endemism is a phenomenon of species being confined to a particular area and not found anywhere else. What is eutrophication? The natural aging of a lake by nutrient enrichment of its water is termed as eutrophication. So these were the questions with the expected answers, the uh, scheme of evaluation of uh, March 2000 Part A. Let us go to the Part B discussion part of it. Part B they have asked the first question that is the 11th question. List the hormones produced by the placenta during pregnancy. The hormones that are produced by the placenta during pregnancy are human chorionic gonadotrophin or you can write it as HCG, human placental lactogen or HPL, estrogens, progestogens or it is also called as progesterone and the next question towards the list. So there is half mark for each hormone that will be scoring in case of this 11th question. 12th question list any two simple principles to prevent sexually transmitted diseases so the one of the best methods of avoiding the sexually transmitted diseases or venereal diseases is to avoid sex with unknown partner or multiple partners uh, so usage of barriers like condoms during sexual intercourse or coitus and to approach a doctor for early detection and proper treatment when a person is in doubt uh, of having incurred the sexually transmitted diseases. So any uh, two points if you write each point you get uh, one mark and uh, that is what is about the uh, 12th question. So the 13th question is mention four symptoms of Down syndrome. So short stature, small round head, furrowed tongue, broad flat face, partially open mouth, broad palm with characteristic palm crease, physical psychomotor and mental retardation, big and wrinkled tongue, congenital heart disease, many lip loops on finger, uh, many loops on fingertips, broad flat face, flat back of the head. So all these are the symptoms of Down syndrome. Any four of them if they mention, they will be provided the marks. So the, each symptom carries half a mark. What is incomplete dominance? Give an example. So if the definition of incomplete dominance carries one mark and the example another mark. So both of it you have to write to get two marks. The inheritance in which one allele is not completely dominant over the other because of which an intermediate character is produced or you can also define it as the appearance of an intermediate phenotype in F1 hybrid that does not resemble the phenotype of either of the two parents and is in between the two or it is the expression of intermediate character in the offspring obtained by a cross between two pure breeding varieties differing in a pair of contrasting characters. So any one of these definitions you can define for incomplete dominance. The example you can give is inheritance of flower color in dog flower or it is also called as snapdragon or antirhinum. So a starch grain signs uh, considered as phenotype in pea seeds of intermediate signs. But the, uh, the best example would be the antirhinum, inheritance of flower color in snapdragon or antirhinum. That is the uh, textbook expected answer that you are expected to write. Write any two factors affecting Hardy-Weinberg principle, gene flow or gene migration, genetic drift, mutation, genetic recombination and natural selection. You can write any two of these and each one carries one mark. What is the significance of selectable marker in cloning vector? 
it helps in identifying and elif- eliminating non transformants and selectively permitting the growth of the uh, transformant that is the significance of selectable selectable marker in cloning vector codon auj has dual function justify auj codes for methionine during translation auj also acts as initiator codon and it or auj initiates protein synthesis each point carries one mark for it what are the criteria of dna to act as a genetic material so dna has the capacity of replication or duplication structurally and chemically it is stable it has the property of undergoing mutations that are required for evolution it is able to express itself in the form of mendelian characters you can write any two points from these and uh, that could be uh, helping you fetch the points now the next uh, section is part c the 19th question that they have asked is name the types of vegetative propagules in the following potato it is uh, the vegetative propagule is tuber or ice of potato ginger uh, the vegetative propagule is nothing but the rhizome bryophyllum the vegetative propagule is leaf buds or you can also write it as adventitious buds on leaf or epiphyllous buds any of this answers will be getting one mark for it each one carries one mark each now uh, the 20th question that they have asked is what is pollination mention any four features of wind pollinated flowers so part c you know that all of them are three mark questions so pollination is a transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of pistils the features of wind pollinated flowers are production of large number of pollen grains compared to the number of ovules available for pollination the pollen grains are light and non sticky stamens are well exposed in the flower so that the pollen grains are easily dispersed or deposited stigma is large and feathery to trap the pollen grains each ovary has usually one ovule many flowers are packed into a single inflorescence with tassels so that pollen grains can be easily trap so any four of these points you can write for uh, the adaptation of wind pollinated flowers or features of wind pollinated flowers the 21st question in part c is what is infertility give reasons for infertility in humans infertility is the inability to produce children in spite of unprotected sexual cohabitation or sexual intercourse the reasons for infertility might be physical can be congenital diseases uh, or it can be physical congenital diseases or drugs or immunological or psychological so any four of it you can mention uh, so half mark it carries and you have to uh, so you get three marks out of this what are analogous organs give any two examples so these are organs analogous organs which are different in structure and origin or anatomically not similar but perform similar functions we call them as analogous organs example eyes of octopus and mammals uh, flippers of penguins and dolphins root of sweet potato and stem of potato even though the origin are different but they have similar function such organs we call them as analogous organs so now in animals the examples are wings of butterfly and bird tendrils of pea and vitus thorns of pomegranate and spines of prickly pear or opuntia filoque cladode and normal leaves of opuntia but asparagus and any plant respectively mandibles of cockroach and vertebrates so you can choose the textbook uh, suggested example that is eyes of octopus and mammals flippers of penguins and dolphins roots of sweet potato and stem of potato this would help you get the marks appropriately mention the type of carcinogens with an example for each the physical agents the carcinogens are x rays gamma rays uv rays chemical agents uh, the chemicals present in tobacco smoke they cause they are carcinogenic in nature nicotine is also carcinogenic in nature the biological agents are oncogenic virus so uh, the type of agents that you mention you get half a mark and one example that you mention you will be getting 
half a mark each that is how we can score three marks there write the meaning of following term x plant x plant is any part of the plant that is used to produce the whole plant in tissue culture or it is any part of the plant that is used to produce whole plant in a test tube under sterile condition in a special nutrient media what is totipotency it is the capacity of any cell or x plant of a plant to grow into a whole plant what are soma clones these are plants obtained through tissue culture which are genetically identical to the original or parent plant so these are the definitions that you have to write for the uh, x plant totipotency and soma clones we draw a neat label diagram of simple stirred tank bioreactor it is for three mark the uh, half mark is there for correct labeling so six correct labeling and you get uh, three marks so there is no marks for diagram it's a simple diagram so you have to mention about the motor foam breaker flat blended impeller culture prox steam for sterilization acid or base for ph control so these are sterile air these are the labelings that you can mention so six labelings if you are going to mention you are going to get three marks out of this mention three causes for biodiversity loss habitat loss and fragmentation over exploitation co extinction alien species invasion these are all the causes for biodiversity loss you just have to mention any three of them and you are going to get three marks for it part d section 1 is the five mark questions that you have and in the section 1 you have to answer four questions out of uh, six that you have to choose from describe the structure of pollen grain of angiosperms so you have to describe the structure of pollen grain of angiosperms so each step that you describe it carries five points you will get it five marks a mature pollen grain has a hard and resistant outer exam made up of sporopollenin and a thin intertwine made up of cellulose and pectin this fetches you one mark the exine has designs and patterns like knobs ridges grooves etc and also germ pores in majority of the angiosperms at the time of shedding it has two cells the vegetative cell and generative cell and in a few it is three cell pollen grain where they have the generative cell divides to form two male gametes and there is a vegetative cell also so it is three cell totally and the pollen grains that are shed at this stage is called as three cell stage one vegetative cell and two male gametes the vegetative cell is larger in size with large amount of reserve food material and a large irregular nucleus the generative cell is smaller in size spindle shape and floats inside the cytoplasm of vegetative cell it has dense cytoplasm and a prominent nucleus so these five points if you write you are going to get five marks for the structure of pollen grain of angiosperms you can even draw a diagram uh, showing the outer wall and inner wall and generative cell vegetative cell two cell and three cell pollen grain diagram if you draw and label that that would add up to the quality of your answer it might not give you marks but in some of the answer key scheme they might also have some marks for the diagram that you draw the 28th question the draw neat label diagram of human male reproductive system so of this any of the two diagrams you can draw it so 10 labelings each labeling fetches you half mark so you can draw any of the view of uh, male reproductive system and the labelings that you have to remember is about which you should not miss it out is ureter urinary bladder vas deferens seminal vesicle prostate Uh, bulbothyroid gland urethra testes foreskin glands penis the testicular uh, lobules reti testes vasa differentia epididymis epididymis so these are labelings that you should not miss out and these 10 labelings they are going to fetch you uh, 10 out of 5 marks for this question so there is no marks for the diagrams explain mendel's experiment to describe inheritance of one gene with reference to height of bee plants so they are talking about mono hybrid cross so if you are just going to write the uh, the cross you might get only 3 marks 
but you also have to explain the points to get five marks. Mental cross a true breeding that is homozygous tall pea plant with a uh, homozygous dwarf plant, or you can also call it as true breeding. All the offsprings in the F generation were tall, indicating that tallness is dominant over the dwarf character. Uh, then he allowed the FM plants to undergo self pollination. In the F2 generation, both tall and dwarf plants were produced in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Uh, that is the phenotypic ratio. The reappearance of dwarf character in the F2 generation indicates that alleles for tallness and dwarf character have segregated during gamete formation. So these points it fetches you nearly uh, one and a half mark and uh, the, the entire schematic representation of it that is writing it in a uh, systematic way phenotype pure tall into pure dwarf and all those and the cross that you write phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 so they are going to fetch you 5 marks if you are going to complete it so initially you have to write a few points regarding it List the salient features of human genome. This you have to mark it up because it is completely filled with facts. The human genome consists of 3164.7 million nucleotide bases. The average gene consists of 3000 bases. Dystrophin gene which is the largest known human gene has 2.4 million bases. The total number of genes is estimated at 30,000. Almost all 99.9% .9 nucleotide bases are exactly the same in all people. The functions are unknown for over 50% of the discovered genes. Less than 2% of the genomes code for protein. Repeated sequences make up very large portion of the human, human genome. These are thought to have no direct coding functions, but they shed light on chromosome. Chromosome 1 has most genes. 2968 and the chromosome Y has the least genes that is 239. There are 1.4 million locations where single base DNA differences occur that is SNPs we call it as SNPs. These help in finding chromosomal locations for disease associated sequences and trading, tracing the human history. So any 5 points that you write is going to fetch you the 5 marks for the salient features of human genome. Since these are all facts, you have to mark it up, there is no other code for it. Then the any five you have to write for the human genome. The next question is, name the disease caused by the following organism. Uh, common cold, rhinovirus causes common cold. Uh, Epidermophyton causes ringworm, or ringworm disease. Salmonella typhi causes typhoid. Ucheria malai it causes filiariasis. Filariasis or elephantiasis, Plasmodium vivax causes malaria. They might also ask this as uh, the name of the diseases and you are expected to write the pathogens. So you should remember their scientific name also. So the next question 30 second is what is beekeeping? Write any four points for successful beekeeping. Beekeeping is the maintenance of hives of honeybees for the production of honey and wax. Beekeeping is also called as apiculture. The requirement for successful beekeeping are knowledge of the nature and habits of bees, selection of suitable location for keeping the beehives, catching and hiving of swarms, groups of bees, management of honey bees during different seasons, and handling and collection of honey and of bee wings. So any four point that you write, you get four marks, and definition of beekeeping, you'll be getting one mark. So describe the section 2 we will be proceeding with where you will be having 5 questions out of which you have to write 3 of it. Describe the biogas plant with a neat label diagram. The neat label diagram of biogas plant it is going to get you 3 marks and uh, the remaining points that you write, 4 points you are expected to write, each one carries half a mark each. So the biogas plant consists of a concrete tank 10 to 15 feet deep into which waste and slurry of dung are filled. A floating cover is placed over the slurry which keeps on rising as the gas is produced in the tank due to the microbial activity. The biogas plant has an outlet which is connected to a pipe to supply biogas to nearby houses. 
the spent slurry is removed through another outline uh, which is which the spent slurry is utilized as fertilizer so these points if you write these four points you are going to get half mark each and for the diagram with labeling of uh, nearly six labeling you are going to get three marks so that is how you can score five marks of this section two first question that is the 33rd question 34th question is what is biopiracy so for this it is for two marks so you have to write at least two to three sentences biopiracy is the use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organizations without proper authorization from the countries and people concerned without compensatory payment how adar deficiency is cured by gene therapy adenosine deaminase deficiency is cured by gene therapy this is for three marks so lymphocytes from the blood of the patient are grown in a culture outside the body uh, that is um, in vitro a functional ada c dna is introduced that is adenosine deaminase minus c dna complementary dna is introduced into these lymphocytes using a retroviral vector and the lymphocytes are introduced back into the patient the periodic infusion of such genetically engineered lymphocytes is given as these cells are not immortal if the gene isolated from marrow cells produced producing ada is introduced into cells at early embryonic stages it could be a permanent cure for adda deficiency 35th question is what is ecological succession it is the gradual and fairly predictable changes in the species composition of a given area it is termed as ecological succession right types of plant successions hydrax succession and xerax succession are the types of plant succession represent the number of pyramid of number in grassland ecosystem so you have to practice this diagram the numbers of each trophic level need not be the same as given in the uh, diagram it can vary so the primary producer primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer trophic levels and number of individuals you have to write uh, so that is one aspect that you have to write in case of ecological succession 36th question in section 2 is explain mutualism with examples this is population interaction we are talking about mutualism is a type of interaction in which both the species a and b are benefited that is both the interacting species are benefited the example for it is uh, lichens represent close relationship between a fungus and an algae or cyanobacteria the fungi help the plant in the absorption of essential nutrients from the soil while the plant provides the fungi with carbohydrates the mycorrhizae are associations between fungi and the roots of higher plants the fungi help uh, the plant in the absorption of essential nutrients from the soil while the plant provides the fungi with carbohydrates plants and pollinating animal agents animals pollinate the flowers of plants plants provide pollen and nectar for pollinators plants and seed dispersing animal agents animals disperse the seeds of plants plants provide juicy and nutritious food for seed dispersers a particular species of fig tree is pollinated by a specific species of vas pollinator the vas pollinates the fig in florescence while searching for suitable sites for oviposition in return the fig provides the vas some of its developing seeds as food for the developing vas larvae so the uh, majorly give the examples that are quoted in the textbook Uh, you have to write four examples so each example carries one mark the definition of mutualism carries one mark the uh, 37th question that is write a brief account of electrostatic precipitator with a neat label diagram so you have to draw the diagram which fetches you two marks nearly five label labeling are there then you have to write the points about the electrostatic precipitator the electrode wires that are maintained at several thousand volts produce a corona that releases electrons these electrons attach to dust particles giving them a net negative charge the collecting plates are grounded and they attract the charged dust particles but the velocity of air between the plates is kept low so that the dust falls 
that is the answer that you are expected to write for the electrostatic precipitate. So that completes our discussion of the March 2017 Biology second year PU uh, question paper. So best wishes for your upcoming board examination. If you have uh, benefited from this video, kindly share it with your friends. Uh, like and subscribe for the channel also. Thank you.